Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I made these wooden magnets and thank you all to those who help us get through tough times because you're the real heroes. Since there are so many superheroes, I used this spinning wheel to choose out a few. So today we'll be painting Hulk, Superman, Captain America, and Iron Man. You could probably find these at other locations, but these specific wood and magnets are from Hobby Lobby. For Hulk, I drew three vertical lines and one horizontal line in the middle. The two lines on the left are more closer together than the one to the right. As you can see, you don't have to be very precise to follow in the lines because they are a reference to make sure the outline is in the middle and the fingers look okay. Before painting it green, I used a black sharpie to outline some of the pencil marks so that after I'm done painting it, I can go back and see the black lines clearly when I have to outline them again. I painted the backside as well to give it a more completed look. Now I'm using some black paint to fill in the rest of the circle and to trace out the hand. And this is the finished product! For Superman, I drew one vertical line in the middle, two horizontal lines at the top, and one horizontal line at the bottom. Next, I connected the lines by drawing in the diamond shape. This part was a little tricky because the proportion of the diamond was a little different than the actual logo, so I had to modify the S a little bit, but you still got the feel of it. Now I'm taking the color Look At Me Blue to color the outside of the diamond, and Squawbox Yellow to color in the inside. Whoever comes up with these names are so creative. Using some dark red to finish the diamond and to color in the S. Now giving it some final touches by using a black sharpie to outline it, and here's the final product. For Captain America, I used a dime for the first circle, a quarter for the second circle, and for the third circle, I drew it somewhere between the second circle and the edge of the wooden piece. Then, I drew a star inside the first circle. I'm using white to color in the star and the second ring, and I'm starting off with white because if there's any mistakes, it's easier to cover it up with a darker color paint than to cover up a dark color paint mistake with a lighter color, if that makes any sense. Just like the other ones, I traced out the outlines with a black sharpie. And now we're done. Iron Man may seem a little intimidating at first, but once you actually try it, it's not that bad. There's three vertical lines wide apart and three horizontal lines close together that we're going to use. First, we'll draw the outlines for the red portion and then later move on to the yellow one. Mine is fast forwarded by a lot, so make sure to take time to compare the lines on the reference drawing and on your actual drawing. First, we're going to take white to color in the eyes and the background, and then squabos yellow to color in the inside. And again, we're starting off with the lightest color first. We're going to take dark red to color in the outline and draw in the lines for the eyes and the inside borders.
noticed that the cheekbone area was a little awkward, so I added some more yellow. And taking a black sharpie, I outlined the outside as well. And here's the finished product. For the last step, I added the magnets to the backside of the wood. And that's it! Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe! Bye!